a little concerned at first because I wasn't sure, but everything's clearing here. I can put my hand back here. Nothing's rubbing. It's having a little trouble getting up this hill though, but we clear. Let's look at the articulation. Now, I want to tell you, now I am glad I got those emergency brakes fixed. We're gonna look for that dinosaur thing again today. It's said to go out here on the Escalante Canyon Road like we went the first day with my mom. We do have a creek. I wanna check depth. This should be fine. So, if we pass more on this side, it's shallower. Not over there, but over here and I'll go slow. They do say you should let your vehicle cool down a little bit before you cross the water because it's not good for the metal to be going from hot to cold like that aggressively. So I'm gonna turn the truck off for a little bit. Here we go. I'm gonna put this thing in four low. Let's see how it goes. So that wasn't too bad. Went through it just fine. I'm just curious to see how high up we went. Oh, we didn't hardly get anything wet. All right, so there I go. My first creek crossing, I guess. I'm so proud of myself.
not permanently closed. It's, just, it's open. They just don't want free rangers to range too far, I guess. I have to say, if you're new to off-roading and you want to try a little bit of everything, this trail out to Dry Mesa Dinosaur Quarry is actually pretty interesting and fun. We've crossed water six times so far. It's obviously you, probably different times of year you may not be able to cross, but it's just been just right for my skill level. As you saw, it wasn't even hardly getting very high but it's still it's cool because it's like you couldn't do this in a normal vehicle I've never done this before so it's really really fun and uh, yep so we're going down this little area here So it's getting a little little rough on the road here. It's definitely what you would call off-road. So, because uh, there ain't much of a road left anymore. Uh, so far, just going up in two-wheel high, although I think I'm gonna switch to low to go up that. This is a pretty, really awesome road. It, it, it is perfect for the beginner, at least what I'm experiencing, because you've got your baby rock gardens, so to speak. I mean, it's definitely a rough terrain. I'll show you what it looks like. This road is definitely getting steep and kind of narrow and extremely rocky and uh, 
a little intimidating, but we're managing okay. What would Candace be doing right now? Freaking out. Candace would be freaking out. That's all. Just freaking out. Oh, uh, okay. Oh God, you're going up towards the edge. No, it's, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm not towards the edge yet, Robin. I'm like... you out there? No. Make sure you show it now. It's, it's hot. See down. See how high we are. That's how high we are. I should have rode up. Go. Come on. This is all stuff that he's gonna drive up. A little concerned at first, because I wasn't sure, but everything's clearing here. I can put my hand back here. Nothing's rubbing. It's having a little trouble getting up this hill though, but we clear. Let's look at the articulation. Now, I want to tell you, now I am glad I got those emergency brakes fixed. I will tell you that. So that's what the articulation looks like on this thing on the back. I can't get up, and I don't know if it's because 
Well, I'm not going to be able to do this anyway. I'm going to have to go back and hit it at a different angle because that's just going to be too big of a gap. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go over on this side. That's what I should have done. Yeah, I'm going to go back a little. Yeah, all right. Okay, he's a little sideways. Oh my gosh. This is where I lose my husband. Oh. It is freezing up here. <sighs> Hold on, Nala. He did it. Wow, I'm proud of him. <sighs> Although I don't know what that was. Come on. Okay, come on. All right. All right, let's just do an inspection here. See how things look. water bottle we dropped. All right, everything looks fine. That was interesting. All right, it's getting dark. What do we say? Primary objective is to improve elk and mule deer winter range habitat by increasing the quality and availability of... Anyway, yeah, here we are up here. Dry Mesa improvement project. We're still heading there. I think we're only about five minutes away from the dinosaur quarry. All right, so here's the trailhead. I had to turn around so I could get up to it. So we're gonna go, uh, this is the road we just came from. And so now we're gonna go ahead and go up this road here.
So presumably this is where the query was. This is a turnaround point. We're gonna keep going a little further. You should be able to see out into the canyon, but uh, um, we're just following that road and we're gonna keep on going. To see what we can see. All that we can all right, see. This tree is blocking it. I'm sorry, my truck can't go over that. So I'd love to. Um, it's not narrow enough to. Oh, you want, let me back up. Shut it. Okay. You want to get out now? Yeah. There, now you can get out. All right, so we're going to go for a walk. Ugh. So this has got to be the right place because it's literally out here and nowhere and the fact that there was a sign there was like a contribution box and all that stuff this has got to be where the quarry used to be so when I came out here a long time ago we came up the other way now when we go out we're gonna try to go out the other way because it's gonna be dark and I really don't want to go down the way we just came to get here but we should be able to go up here and look out into the canyon Okay, there's got to be, we, okay, that road's, it's really close. We got to be close. I mean, we're right, it's just, this is very rugged. We're right at the edge, like 50 feet. Over 20, about 25 years ago when I came here, you could drive all this with your vehicle. And then we drive right out and look over the edge. So we should be getting there. Hopefully it won't be dark. It should be right around this corner, I hope. It's brutal cold out here. Nasty cold. They don't feel too good. No. Almost getting to the where we can see out to it, Robin. Almost. Uh, almost getting to where we can see out into it. And then it'll be dark and we won't see it. Yay! At least I was here. Yeah. So if you're coming this way, this is something you want to start first thing in the morning. I would literally make it so that when you're hitting uh, the entrance to the off Highway 50, if you go that direction, that you're hitting that as soon as light breaks <laughs> so that you can get as much out here and actually see it because you gotta, you gotta walk or take four wheels this area because you can't drive there anymore. Here's an opening. Here's a small little opening. This might be where we have to stop, Robin. Huh? This might be where we have to stop. Okay. But it's a little opening and you can kind of see down there. Because it'll be more light that way. <sighs> All right, come on, Nala. Nala, slow down there, Nala. You're way too hyper, Nala. Much later than I'd like to be getting out of here. If you go up this way. I can't see. Here, walk towards me. Can you see me? No. Here, take my hand. Oh, there. Now I can see you. Walk Just up walk this way. Walk up this way. Where? To this way. Watch Why your head. Why are your lights on? Watch your head. I thought it'd be a good thing. No, it is not a good thing. All right, now. It's a crap thing. Now you can just walk right down to the truck. Uh huh. Are we gonna be able to turn around? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here.
All right, so we just came out of the Cottonwood 504 road. You can't see it because it's dark, but the other day we kept going straight. When we came up at 25 Mesa, we kept going straight on the Nucla road. We should have taken the Cottonwood 504 road and that would have taken us to Dry Mesa. So that's where we went wrong.